Guys, give it up for Jen Kirkman. Let her hear it. Hello. Oh, my God. You've waited so patiently for me. Thank you. Oh. I know you're like, why is a model doing stand-up? But... Uh... No, don't laugh that hard at that. That's very rude. You should be like, I know, why is one? But you're clearly a-holes. I actually, I did that joke. <laughs> I did that joke once and someone came up to me who was a model. She was very confused. I don't know why she was in a comedy club. And she was like, you're not a model. And I'm like, I know. And she's like, oh, okay. Cause I don't get that joke. I'm like, the joke is that I'm not a model. And she's like, oh, it makes people sad. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm not here to make you guys sad tonight. I don't know why I'm standing in one spot like someone's holding me hostage. I apologize. I'm gonna strut a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is for TV. Keep it tight. Okay, you guys, uh, I'll tell you, a bit, tell you a bit about myself. I'm engaged. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yes. To a man, yes. I don't know, you never know. I'm a female comedian in a vest. Could anything could be possible? I don't know why people think that every female comic is a lesbian because first of all, I know a million female comics, none of them are lesbians. Every lesbian I know, I don't even think they have a job. Every lesbian I know, that's what they do for a living. I'm like, what do you do for a living? They're like, I'm a lesbian. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know, I think. It's its own job description. But uh, I, I feel guilty getting married because gay people aren't allowed to, but um, I really wish that, that they could just let the gays get married already. And I'm not, well, wait a minute, thank you. Don't eat into my time. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't say that for, you know, I'm not a political comic. The reason I say it is because I'm so sick of all the gay people I know complaining about it. I just want, because it's like, it's always the least likely gay guy you know to get married that is complaining that he can't get married, right? It's like the big nerd who's going to the leather bar at three in the morning. And I'm like, oh really? That guy that you're, you know, I don't know what you're doing with him. Something with a hood and a zipper. That guy. You want, it, you want to take him home for Christmas? You want to register for China with that guy and the man is stopping you? Don't worry about it. If it's legal, you're still going to be at the same thing at 3 a.m. downtown. But, which is fine. I support that too. I support everything. But just don't complain to me because I have very little time. Um, I am mad at Barack Obama, President Obama, for not... Listen, I know he's busy and everyone says to me, he's busy. He can't make gay marriage legal right this second. I know that but he can at least say, I support the gays. He has two seconds to say, I support the gays. And let's say he doesn't have two seconds. Let's say he's so busy. Then you know what? That dog he spent two weeks naming, he could have named the dog, I support the gays. Right? So then when they're like, Obama, what's the name of your dog? I support the gays. He could keep saying it. Then his kids would be on the White House lawn. I support the gays, where are you? I support the gays. And it would get into our minds and we would finally calm down and let gay people and beautiful single white women like me get married. I don't know why I said white, that was weird, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. <laughs> I always say single because I have an inner fat person talking to me, um, or an outer, whichever you wanna think. Um, oh God, but anyway, so my fiance and I were getting married, but we don't want kids, which I know you're like, that's weird, you don't wanna pass that DNA. To oh good, oh God, thank you, okay, good. Why, why carry on this world, you know what I mean? But everyone says the same thing to me, except for you guys, everyone else says the same thing to me. Oh, you're young, you'll change your mind, which I find very rude because first of all, I look younger than I am, so I'm old enough to know that I will not change my mind. And I'm not gonna tell my age on TV, but I'll give you a hint, someone my age in colonial times would be dead by now, <laughs> probably from childbirth. I'm just not maternal at all. If my daughter couldn't sleep in the middle of the night and she was like, mommy, there's a monster under my bed. I'd be like, of course there is, honey. That's why I'm not coming in. Are you nuts? <laughs> and people always say to me, you know what? That's really selfish that you don't want children. That's really selfish. I'm like, oh really? Going to the American girl store every Saturday, that's saving the world? <laughs> I'm very busy thinking about giving to charity. Thank you very much. But don't get me wrong, I'm not like, listen, I actually am very womanly, I have instincts. Like, it's not that I don't want kids, I just don't wanna be a mom. Like, I could be a dad. I could easily be a dad, easily. I could lay on the couch and have my kid come up to me for the first time when they're five years old and go, dad, can I go outside? I go, oh no, ask your mother. Like, that I can do. 
I'd be amazing at that. Thank you. Here's the thing is like, I used to try to come up with all these reasons why I didn't want kids. Oh, it's a tough world. Who cares? This is the real reason. I'm selfish and I don't want to gain weight. And the second thing, the third thing is, is that when I was growing up, first of all, every TV show now is like, I have 90 million kids. Let's see what happens. I don't like any of that stuff. When I was growing up in the 80s, hint at my age, sort of, I'm lying, 70s. When I was growing up, Every TV show was about adults getting laid and hanging out at a bar. Every TV show. And then the, the network executives got nervous and they brought in a kid, some toddler, some baby, because they thought the show might be canceled. And then guess what happened if they brought in the baby? The show got canceled. I don't want my life to get canceled, okay? I want to stay in like a season three. We are like rolling at season three style in my life. Oh, oh, thank you for plotting. <laughs> Horrible selfishness. Um, so, all right, even though I have a man in my life, um, occasionally a lady needs to take things into her, her own hands. Um, <laughs> masturbate is what, is what I would like to talk about. Um, but don't, oh, thank you for being supportive. Some crowds get grossed out when I talk about masturbation and I have to tell them, women have been masturbating for about five years now. It's totally cool. We can talk about it, let's be open. If you are grossed out when I'm talking about this subject, it's because you're picturing it, you know, and that is kind of a gross thing to picture. But you're probably picturing a guy doing it, because when a guy does it, it's like a garden hose out of control, like, ah, you know. But a woman, it's cute. It's like ringing a doorbell. It's like, ding dong, right? Ding dong, 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 ding dong. That's, that's, oh, thank you. But actually, I, I have to confess, it's something I don't really do. First of all, I find it rude to do once you are engaged and live with someone. It's like saying, uh, you're okay, but I'd rather go think about other guys from my past. And you know what I mean? You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna go, what a great show you've put on for me. I'd like to rehearse in my room alone. You don't really wanna do that. But whenever I have done this activity, which I won't say again for the sake of the television network, Masturbation, because I have, <laughs> when I do do that or when I don't, here's the problem. It doesn't come easy to me and maybe other ladies relate to this, is that men are very lucky. Let me give you an example. You can look at a porn magazine of a naked woman and you're like, Ugh, and everything's done, right? <laughs> and then you put your seatbelt on, you start the car, you get back on the highway. <laughs> Go to work. You cannot show a lady a naked picture of a guy in a magazine. We're like, oh, do I know him? Oh, I don't know, is, that, is there an article? Like, we don't know what's happening. We love naked men, preferably moving around in the dark. We just don't know what to do with a picture of it. We're like, oh, I don't know, it's like a horse calendar. We don't know what's happening. But From my experience, what I need, and I don't know if other ladies relate to this, we need a story to think about when we're doing the thing. You know what I mean? Like something that has a beginning and a middle and an end. Like I'll give you one of my most recent sexual fantasies. Thank you. I'm walking down the street, I look real good. I run into an ex-boyfriend. He pushes me up against a wall and he looks at me and he says, you're right, I do need therapy. And that's a fantasy. <laughs> does it for me. But we really need this realistic beginning, middle and end thing or else we're not having any fun. And it's like, we try, you know, we'll go to bed at night. I'll go to bed at night. I treat myself right. I put on some candles, some music. I get ready to ding dong, you know, and then I can't think of anything. And then I'm in such a bad mood the next day, you know? And if you know anyone that's in a bad mood at work the next day, that's why they don't have a story. It's not just because they're a random bitch. They don't have a story. D don't talk to them about it at work because that's inappropriate, but just know that I'm telling you. And so a friend of mine said to me, a friend of mine said to me one time, why don't you just think of Johnny Depp? He's cute. I'm like, I just told you. I can't just randomly think of someone. It would have to be figured out. Well, how did I meet Johnny Depp? He lives in France. I don't have a visa. He's married. I don't want kids. I mean, it's a whole thing. I asked my fiance what he thinks about when he garden hoses, you know? And uh, he goes, I don't know, boobs. I go, Bo whose boobs? My boobs? He goes, sometimes I go, could it be your grandmother's? Yeah, sure. Anybody, just boobs. 
I go, well, what are the boobs doing? Are they flying around? Are they on a whack-a-mole machine? Are they on an assembly line? What, what boobs? He just goes, boobs. That's what he thinks about. If I saw a penis just hanging out, it, you know, I'd be like, oh my God, let's call the cops. Some, somebody got their penis chopped off. Like, I wouldn't know what to do. You guys are awesome. Have a good night, Jen Kirkman.